Okay, um... <laughs> Here's a really real day in my life. Okay, so I know I look crazy. I know I probably sound crazy, but I just thought if I'm not going to do anything today, I might as well just do this. Oh my god, I would never go on camera looking like this. Um, <laughs> if you guys don't believe me, it's literally four. Um, yeah. Today is just not that day for me and I think it's really important for us to show and just be really real about how life is and life on the internet is not really real and this is actually <laughs> a day in my life. You know, sometimes it's okay to not have everything so perfect all the time and like always be happy and... I just wanted to show you guys that I have really bad days and I have days that I just sit here till four and don't do anything and just kind of, I don't know, just drown in my sorrows. <laughs> this sounds so lame. Yeah, today I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't like focus. I couldn't. I don't, I don't know, like, I guess if you know, you just know, it's just one of those days where you just have zero, and I mean zero energy. So this is the thing, right, is that I really try my best to be, like, organized and have, like, a schedule and really stick to, like, my work schedule, like, my work hours and everything like that, but sometimes it's just a lot. And I feel like even though I get to do things that I really love and enjoy, sometimes you just don't ever give yourself a break or your body to just like have time to just kind of chill. Um, and that is something that I've been working on this year is to kind of detach myself from a lot of like my work and my business and I think that's one thing that I actually really realized was that I've always identified myself with school and work and I don't really have anything outside of that which is so sad but I'm really wanting to have like hobbies set aside for myself that doesn't really contribute to anything that is work related or business related because I feel like in my free time I'll think up of like a new product or I'll search for like inventory or I'll do something for work or for business and I need something aside from everything like that like i need to do something in my free time that isn't work related or business related and i'm just struggling really hard to find something that isn't that yeah i don't know i just decided that it would just be best if i just came on here and just talked with you guys and just showed you what you know some days look like and this is really what some days look like days that i just have no energy and don't really have you know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> do you ever get into one of those moods where you just want to go and like throw your entire closet away and just kind of like hit restart and just be like I don't know I just wish that I could just go to sleep right now fall asleep and like wake up and like have like a whole new like wardrobe aesthetic vibe and like I don't know <laughs> it's just so hard it's just 
it's hard being a girl honestly who just rang my doorbell i don't know if i'm the only one that does this but like when i want to change something i always like go onto like pinterest or youtube or like instagram and try to find like inspiration or like figure out how to like become the person that i want to become so i really want to have like a totally different style but i just feel like it's so hard to find your style because I know what I like. I definitely know what I like. But it's like when I buy things that I like and then I go and put it on myself, it doesn't like look right. Am I the only one that does that? Because I'll go onto like an influencer's page and I'll purchase exactly, exactly what they have on. And it'll come in, I'll be super excited, and then I try it on, it like it doesn't look right. I don't know what the magic is behind it, but I mean, we'll figure that out together, I think, maybe, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's so annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so I've just been on like YouTube and Instagram trying to figure out how to get this certain aesthetic and it's just kind of driving me insane and I just want to go into my closet and just throw everything away and start all over so but i think i'm gonna go get ready and get my nails done because at least like i can kind of chill and it's something that i've been needing to do and i haven't gotten to get them done and if i have like another day with these i'm pretty sure like i'll go into like nail hell for neglecting my nails that long I just think being a girl is so hard because I feel like being a guy is a lot easier just because you don't really have like a lot of things to have to worry about and for a girl like there's just so much like hair, makeup and the thing is that like it takes skill to do like everything like to make everything nice like to dress nice to do your makeup nice to do your hair nice like it all takes skill and that skill is <sighs> So exhausting and it's either you have it or you just don't and I'm just like figuring it out I don't know that's just the mood I'm in today and I am just feeling really down and I just want to just go and buy like a bunch of new clothes but the thing is is that like I'm the type of person that I want to buy this like there you know there's certain ways for things like certain ways of how they're styled and I always happen to buy things that aren't like styled the way that it should be and it like makes me so angry because I just feel like I wasted all my money and so now what I've learned is to just be very patient until I see the exact thing and make sure that it's exactly styled the way I want it to be like for example like home decor Oh my gosh, I, like that thing is like driving me insane too because I look at a lot of other people and I feel like when they move into a house, they already have it styled within just like a few weeks or something. Like they can just go out and just purchase stuff and just buy things and just put it all together. And for me, it's been such a long process and I always try to remind myself that like a really pretty house comes with time and it's okay because there's like no rush to it. But it's like I already just want to get there because I already know what I have in mind. It's just the whole process of actually finding the stuff in the style that I'm imagining it with. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But so yeah, for me, I am the type of person that will literally wait, wait, wait to just make sure that it's perfect. And it just drives me insane. Even with like curtains, okay, so for curtains for our master bedroom with like the doors, I know exactly what I would want, but I personally don't have any experience with buying curtains and I want them to look a certain way and I don't know how to achieve that look. Any other regular person would just go out and just buy curtains, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm making like things like 10 times harder for myself or what, but there's just like a certain thing that I, want with how the curtains to look and I just know that if I just go and purchase curtains it's just not going to look that way and I don't know how to fix that like quality of mine but today was just not a day for me and 
I really hope that at least if I just go and get my nails done, it'll make me feel a little bit better and more like put together. Whenever I go somewhere, I like to just take something to drink. I'm gonna just add this collagen from Teamy. I usually add it to my smoothies, but lately I've just been adding it to whatever I'm drinking currently. So just go ahead and add a scoop in there. I really like the teeny just because it really helps with my nails and like I said before in my other video I only do like my natural nails I don't like get tips or anything like that so I want to keep them super healthy and strong it's also really good for your hair your skin your nails and so I really like adding that into my routine even if I'm not feeling my best this definitely will you know, make me feel like on that healthy girl vibe. So I went ahead and added it to my drink. I also got the tumbler from Teamy. I got the one in curl and it's just super perfect for when I'm on the go, just like right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the nail salon. They weren't available to do dip. So annoying. So I have to find another place that will do my nails because i have this place that i usually go to i probably will just end up going over there but i wanted to try this other place because i felt like they could do the designs a lot better i mean i guess it's like my fault because i should have done an appointment but a ton of nail salons here i was about to click the nail salon that i'm currently at because i was like oh my gosh those nails are cute i'm here um i really just want to like get them done I'm gonna just have to go back to the people that I usually go to just because I don't know hopefully they can do the nails that I want but it's not like it's hard it's just like the technique and I just don't feel like having ugly nails like it just sucks someone just please come save my life because I feel like if I go into a, like a nail salon that I don't really know with this energy they're gonna mess up my nails like they're gonna mess up my nails and yeah I'm, I'm just not here for it I'm just gonna go to the place that I normally go to and just hope for the best mm, these fries are so good I the junior fries are small junior fries they're kind of small but I feel like it's perfect for me right now okay hold on let me um record my little like just got to Wendy's <laughs> for it <laughs> all right so just got done with my nails and i decided to just come to wendy's and get a frosty and fries because i just needed it okay it's just one of those days and it's super hot in here um yeah i think i saw someone on youtube <laughs> i think that last night or maybe it was tiktok i don't know and they had a frosty and fries and i was like wow I'm getting that tomorrow. So it's tomorrow and I'm here eating my frosty and my fries. So yeah, it's been a while since I've had like a frosty and fries. Like, it's literally such an elite combo. Mm, <laughs> like since high school. Because I think it was because um, I had a Wendy's right next to my high school. So I think it was like more accessible, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm, Wendy's low-key slaps like it'd be hit in the spot like I don't I like Wendy's more than McDonald's and stuff like honestly I'm parked right outside of McDonald's and they have spicy chicken nuggets now I see it in the sign I wonder if it's yeah not. I mean I'm not I don't, I don't like McDonald's nuggets they taste like barf to me so I don't know bro what okay McDonald's yeah. nuggets are really good like really good oh my gosh okay so i just got back from the nail salon got my nails done um yeah very simple like nude almond shaped i originally wanted to do like an almond shape french tip but she didn't really like know how to do it and that's why i wanted to go to the other nail salon because i feel like they kind of like do better designs and everything so I ended up just getting these nude nails but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog I was not planning on 
recording this at all so it really was just me exactly how I look and just being in bed and that's just as real as it gets to be honest so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely stick around and I'll see you guys in my next video Thank you.